to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. So this is Christmas. No, it's not. And where have you born? Where have you born? Where have you born? I don't. I don't know the words for it. where have you gone, bro. I don't know that song very well. Turkey justice. Uh, it, it's we're past it now. It's over. Thanksgiving is over. Are we far over. enough? Yes, it's fucking December third. All right. Second. I'll allow it. So here's the weird thing about this year, right? Thanksgiving was super late. Right. Therefore, I feel like the holiday crush is, is already upon us of like, oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, just as you're unpacking, taking you know, the last of your nine shits of the weekend over Thanksgiving, uh-huh. it is Christmas time <laughs> when you're like, oh, oh, man, that, damn it. I should be getting a tree up. That's why I had to go so hard for turkey justice this year year in Not, particular no because it was so close uh-uh. to christmas what you gotta go if you're gonna go hashtag turkey justice right you've got to fight for that when it's earlier for thanksgiving when it's like mm, november 23rd is thanksgiving or no no because it was so much later no people just are like well it's basically december so whatever's in thing you know thanksgiving is basically christmas it's, that's it's, how people were treating it this year, way more than any other year. It's kind of like if your birthday is, you know, close to Secretary's Day, where it's just like, oh, happy birthday, and here's your Secretary's Day gift. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Like they never recognize both. This year, though, there's nothing you can do about it. The dates were too late. Now we're thrust in and out real hard, jammed in real hard in the middle of, of the holidays and mm-hmm. Christmas. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing we can do about that. Right. We're jammed in. Mm-hmm. Now... You know, just as, again, your ninth shit is taken over the weekend, boom, you got to go look for a tree. And you're talking about actual shitting. Oh, yeah. From Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Gosh, we don't usually we don't, go we don't. down that road. We don't, but uh-huh. it's it's one of those things where everyone is really feeling it this year. Because uh-huh. you know? you're so late. You're so late on this Thanksgiving, and now it's just all... Packed in. Boom. You're going to be up against holiday cookies. Christmas. Somebody gave me a Christmas cookie today. I threw it in their face. Oh. Yeah. Threw it in their face and then I... I Where was I, that? At the gym? Yeah. Yeah. Because you know... you go to a piece of shit, horrible gym that serves pizza sometimes? Uh, uh, and the first it Monday sounds of every like month? Correct. gives you Christmas cookies. Yeah. Is it genius? Horrible. No. Marketing? No. It's horrible. It keeps you there. The place is a piece of crap. I look. I, I will bad defend bad vibes, bad colors. I'll, I'll I'll defend Planet Fitness. I know you will. Clean machines. Uh, well, look uh, uh, in a small town mm-hmm. where I work out is like all right, great. There's nobody there. Right. So what, I don't. How is it different than any other gym? I don't do Olympic style lifting. I don't get on those bullshit mm-hmm. uh, Peloton machines that are like I don't do I don't do any mm-hmm. of that. So it's like mm-hmm. all right, cool. There's not much else I could ask for if I'm being picky. Right. Super soups picky about it. Maybe Asana. Mm-hmm. That's about it. I can't really ask them for more than that. Right. Um, you know, it's got everything I need. Mm-hmm. For real. I, like, it, w- what is the difference between that and your gym, for example? Um, child care, classes, sauna, um, every type of machine. I don't know. You know, they just shut it down, right? Shut what down? You go to O2? Orange mm-hmm. Theory? Yeah. No, I go to O2. It's the same one, right? No. Okay. Orange Theory is different than O2. All oh, right, because they just shut that one down for uh, staph infection. The Orange Theory yes. over, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Don't yes, do yes. Orange Theory. Eh. That's another one that, plant, like Planet Fitness, they only have a certain, it's very specific. Right. So. Yeah. Right, look, I, as much as I would lo- I love to shit on Planet Fitness, I can't. Um, right. There's a lot of things I'll take. A, I'll pull my pants down and take a shit on in this life. American Airlines, first of all. Gosh, lots of shitting yeah. happening. Today. Yeah, but uh, eh, Planet Fitness here, you're, you're, you're in my book, um, and I know I know the joke is standard, but they've got pretty much everything that I need. Mm-hmm. Again, unless you're doing CrossFit shit, 
which you know there's always going to be one asshole who's just like i don't want to come in here mm-hmm. throw weight down on the floor it's like i, I get it yeah I, I understand that but that's that's a totally different gym mm-hmm. you gotta go somewhere else for that type of shit definitely you know what i'm saying yeah um but the whole christmas thing is it's close man it's it's too close this year i feel like mm-hmm. i feel like i'm rushed do you yeah 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 definitely um I, I feel like i'm really rushed i feel like i feel like the year has been crazy enough anyways that this just these holidays really close back to back like this are just like oh shit mm. um i want i will say this for the audience though we're recording this uh the day before thanksgiving mm-hmm. so we don't know what's gonna happen um i don't know if ohio state beat michigan yet i'm assuming they did and i'm, I'm assuming it was in devastating fashion and I will obviously gloat about that next week. The other reason I'm saying this is somebody hit me up and said, hey, man, I realize you guys have lives and families and shit like that. And I realize you probably record shows in advance, which we do. Um, usually it's for the Monday show, which that, that's what this one is. Somebody brought up a really interesting point. I said, do you ever worry about that during that gap, like you guys are having a happy, fun show and then a plane crashed into the Macy's Day Parade. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's a worry, but they pre-record. What was it that they had pre-recorded something uh, on the news? It was some holiday or a Sunday or something, yeah. and a crazy, some crazy shit happened, and they had to, like, scramble to get somebody live right. into the studio. Right. No one, went, so, no one know, covered that story. I feel like it was a shooting. And you just kind shooting. of hope. Yeah, it was either it was a, a shooting. Walmart. It was the Walmart shooting, I believe. It was something. Yeah. It was something big, and yeah, everyone yeah. was like, they were scrambling to get, so they like got some guy you know, that you know didn't have a family or something, yeah. threw some powder on him, and had him talk about it live because they were going to the feed, and they were kind of like just talking about the weather yeah. and like, you know, pre-recorded and stuff no so. I, i'm sorry it was the epstein death that's exactly what it was it was on a saturday morning yes that epstein story broke yeah. that's exactly what it was i apologize yeah. um yeah but uh so that's what happens if something fucked up happens from wednesday to monday i'm not i don't know and obviously if the ohio state if ohio state beats michigan which they or should what if like we died and like our episode comes out and we're talking about it like thought about that too you know um and the reason why i thought about that today was some asshole named Goldlink, and we'll call him out by name. I guess he's a rapper. I, I've never heard of this person. Sure. I'm assuming you haven't either. No. But that's safe to say. Posted this thing about Mac Miller today that really pissed me off. Mm-hmm. Um, that, I guess he had opened up for him, Mac Miller on tour, posted a photo of Mac Miller and them doing shit together and just said, you know, I feel like Mac was always my fan and always taking my shit and blah 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 and i was just like the fuck bro he's saying that mac miller stole from him and stuff yeah and this thing and it was just like it's tacky trash he's gone trash it's it's tacky and he's gone oh and people will bury him nothing you can do with that yeah this guy's getting killed online first of all i I love mac miller i'm a gigantic fan of mac miller i think a lot of people do right yes yeah yeah it's just man he was really good um Anyways, I, that's, that's, I think we talked about that when he died, but I'm a gi- gigantic Mac Miller fan. I hate that shit anyways, um, but you know, once you die and things are out there, there's nothing you can really do about it, so mm-hmm. this is our last show. This is our last show. Right. I want to say I'm thankful for you, Jesse. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Um, I got a text message earlier from a friend who was asking about college girls in my town, and he's 46 years old. So, um, who? You, come on, I'm sure you can. Uh, he wouldn't dare. What? Is it who I'm thinking He's of? Single, so it's fine. But all I'm saying I is, I know. This. But if that is my, if 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 I was there at that point in my life, Oof. brutal. Yeah. Absolutely fucking brutal, man. Yeah. Um. So either way, I want to say I'm, I'm thankful for you. That text came in. I was at the gym. I was a Planet Fitness. Think- you're thankful that you're uh and I was like, oh, God damn it. I, like all, all in my mind today was, man, I can't wait to uh, do these shows. I love doing podcasts every day. It is a true joy in my life. Uh, there is 
rarely a time where I, in, in a thousand episodes now, combined for both shows, that I've ever woken up and felt like it was a fucking chore. Um, unless we were on some crazy trip or whatever, right? Yeah. And then, you know, you're trying to do all that shit. Uh, I've never woken up and thought my kids were a chore. I love having children. It's a blast. I love being a dad. I would do that or, m- over anything in this world. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I could take them to all these games that I go to and shit, that would be even funner. Because then you're really screaming with children who care. You know? Oh, yeah. And that's awesome. Um, with you, I'm thankful for you. And then I don't have to do this shit. Because I've already found my dream person in this world, and it's rad. And uh, to get that text hours before Thanksgiving, I was just like, ugh. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? To which you said, look. It's good out here, bro. I, hey man, I, I apples I've, in a barrel, fish in fish a barrel. Fish in a barrel, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's three colleges here. Dude. If you want to, fuck you. Wilmington's a great city to do that. Move downtown like Dan is. Good Ooh. night. Enjoy your life, dude. You, you shit, slam ass every night. You must have sh- shag. You shag. Shag ass. <laughs> Oh my god. I used to say shag ass all the time. Honey, baby. Yeah, I used to say shag ass all the time. Uh but yeah, you you shag you fucking, ass uh, a bone uh, all the time. But uh it's fucking Thanksgiving, dude. I don't want to worry about that shit. Right. After Thanksgiving, sure. No. To be honest with you. You start getting wrapped up in work and everything that you do and doing all these shows and like I'm in the middle of writing the third St. James book and it's like I don't have fucking time for that bullshit. Right. I think I go prostitutes this late in life. Yeah. Or prostitutes, uh, where yeah. it's just like, hey, man, come over and bang, but you gotta get the fuck out of here because I gotta work. Like, that sounds more appealing to me. Or just like a boring chick or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. stays home, cleans up. Yes. Right? Uh, I don't know. Look, at a certain age and a certain stage, blammo. You can oh, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take I, that. Um, if you find a super fun gal that's not married and single, late 30s, 40s, you know, yeah. we have a friend that's going through them. And if you find a super fun time gal at that <laughs> age, it's going to, you know, some, some kind of bag of hair will come out. I was, I if was If you find honest. a super boring chick. Yeah, I was, Do you know what I mean? I was honest about with him and uh, someone else, and I just said, look, at this point in life, dance with the one that brought you. It's musical chairs time. Grab that last chair because it's uh, otherwise, this mm-hmm. is it. Mm-hmm. This is it. It's a lot of friends givings. Yeah. You I see do. those pictures, and you're just like, oof. Well, yeah. It's nice. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well, if I had my shit together, I would do a friends giving. Well, that's different. Because you're actually married couples and all that other shit. Yeah, right? yeah, and you just do it before everyone leaves, kind of thing, which yeah, yeah, I yeah. wanted to do, but um, things happened and I couldn't get it together. Yeah. Well, it's on you, Javes. Yeah, it is. No, for sure, it's on me. But um, yeah, uh, I Jay- guess yeah, we could both be thankful that we don't have to date right now. Is that what's happening? No, is I'm thankful, we're thankful for, for you, and oh, I'm thankful okay. I'm in a great relationship. Oh, and it's awesome. Okay. Yeah, okay. Not not that. I don't I'm thankful that. for my smoker. Yeah, you got a trigger. Bro. Merry Christmas. Yep. That fucking grill is no joke. It's no joke. It's the real deal. And I feel like I'm part of a fucking club now because I get all the messages that are like, welcome. Yeah. You're like with Traeger, you're in like your you are in <laughs> yeah. the Traeger club. Like your Christmas gift. Yeah, dude. That, that was unaware of that it's whole on. sitch, by the way. What whole sitch? Mm. That hashtag smoker life. Oh, yeah, dude. So I go to Home Depot. Again, we were shooting live shows. Uh, Tan- Tanner and I shot a weird Thanksgiving episode on the beach. for drinker bro is really funny. And I was like, shit, it's two days before Thanksgiving. I better go to Home Depot and get this fucking Traeger, right, for you for Christmas. If they didn't have them, dude, you'd be in troops. Yeah, yeah, I'd be in big trouble. There was one left of the exact one that you wanted. That was it. And it was put together, and the guy's just like, hey, man, we put these out on the floor, and that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Because um, I was like, why is this put together? He goes, because we want them out of here. <laughs> you know, like, oh. we want the inventory out of here. Right. It's like, great. That, it was, it was, co- it was costlier than I thought it was. Um, 
Should not have been that much. It not is. from what I was looking. It's I guess if you get it on the Traeger site, but then what? It comes and you have to build it yourself or Good something? Good luck like, with that. Good luck, sweet Charlotte. There's yeah. too much involved in something like that. <laughs> no. but I'm not getting my fucking dick and balls Too many in. scary There's a motor. situations. There's a motor in there, some yeah. other things. We haven't used it yet. We're going to use it tomorrow. But uh, I, I go in. There's one left, thing. right? Um, it plugs in. So it's electric, which yes, I didn't know. Yes, they're electric. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. I thought I had to buy propane tank. Um, and uh, oh, it's a smoker. Yeah. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, I didn't know how it ran. Yeah, yeah. Power wise, right? Because um, I was like, shit. Uh, that was one. Two, it was really heavy. I'd have a guy help me put it in the back of my pickup truck. Super grateful for that pickup truck, by the way. I've used that 9,000 times, and I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have that. Yeah. To be honest with you. That fucking Traeger was heavy, bro. Yeah, I know. I mean, it was a full workout. And like, you had a grown man help you put it in, and I helped it you in, take yeah. it out. So The best thing that Traeger does is on wheels. Yes. Four wheels. So thank Good you, wheels. Traeger. You obviously know how heavy that goddamn thing is. Juge. Um, but then the, lastly, when I was getting ready to get out of there, there was another dude in there, the mm-hmm. Home Depot. It was late sure. with his family. Sure. And he was just picking up wood chips. He's already got whatever form of smoker he has, right? Sure. And, you know, I don't know what what the fuck I'm doing, Mm -hmm. right? I know there's separate pellets for Traeger, not wood chips. Mm -hmm. And so I go, hey, man, um, I'm going to, my wife said these pellets, like they come with these pellets, whatever, for the Traeger. Like, which ones do you like? There there was a bunch of kinds, hickory, uh, mesquite. Apple. And apple. Mm-hmm. And the apple was almost sold out. Apparently, that's the yeah. most popular one. For Thanksgiving, yes. It is. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. For poultry. Luckily, I was able to get a, a bag of it, mm-hmm. right? And the guy looked at me and just really down his nose, down his nose at me. He was just like, uh, he was, oh, I don't know. More of a traditionalist. I don't, uh, I don't use pellets. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, what's the difference? Whatever. And he was like, well, you know, it's. Is it really smoking if the machine's doing it for you? And I was just like, "Oh, smoke is smoke." I mean, you know what I'm saying, Holmes? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like Holmes. I like, yeah, and yeah. And I threw yeah. a hard L in there too. Sure, Holmes. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, uh, "I was like, so with those those wood chips, what are you looking at there? What are you what are you doing with that?" And he goes, "Ah, you know, you got to get out the, you got to get out there and check it and turn it, uh, you know, every two hours." Make the sure thing. the and I was temperatures. Like, yeah. I, I go, mean, hey, man. My wife said that her turkey is going to take about seven to nine hours to smoke. And what are you looking at, bro? Well, it, none of that. Let's just say it's seven to nine on one of those things. Whatever, whatever the fuck he's doing with his smoker, right? Mm-hmm. He goes, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that time wise, and I'm like, all right, well, every two hours for nine, hours, what? Do that five times? What are you? Putting in new chips, rewooding it, what like? Yeah, the thing that I, the only thing I need to do is like, and you shouldn't even lift the top. But the only thing that I need to do is make sure that the the the, the thermometer that's in there. Yeah. I just need to like look at the di- the thing on the side. Yeah, it's digital and it's Wi-Fi, so you can look at it on your phone. Yeah. Um, yeah. and I was just like, yo, man, when you enjoy hey, that, I'm gonna right. get this. Traeger and get wet with it. They're not a sponsor, by the way. Um, no, everybody I mean, on Drinking Bros just said be it's the best. Amazing, yeah. It's the best grill. Um, so we'll we'll see. Uh, fucking jury's still out on that. But yeah, I got I got frowned on there, and I was just like, oh yeah, no. And if when I do enter that world and like really start smoking different things, various meats, different techniques. Sure. I will definitely get the like, oh, you use the electric smoke. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I'll yeah, definitely yeah. get that kind of I'm not a real nitty gritty dirty. Like I'm sure my brother, like Ben, will be like, mm. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, he's a chef, yeah. He's a chef, but it's like it has to be like the he real makes flame. Pizza yeah. But shit, the yeah. real flame, the coals, the wood, like nothing electric, uh. like you know? Yeah. So it's fine. I don't care. I understand both sides to it. It's a lot of work. I don't know who has that kind of time. But I would like to kind of treat it like a crock pot, kind of like put the ribs in there in like the morning yeah. and have like badass shit yeah, at yeah. night. You know Same. what I mean? And not and have away, to be there all day. I have I work and I have two kids. So yes. it's like if I want the smoky goodness, 
Okay. Yeah. And it's going to need to be digital and Wi-Fi. Yeah, and no, I understand that. And the pellets need to automatically be put into the... I understand all that. Yeah. 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 Um, but uh, the other thing I want to chat about right before Thanksgiving, since it's the day before, secrets out here. Donald Trump makes me laugh my ass off. Like genuinely, and I, I'm just gonna well, come I'm out and say, like, does. I yeah. I enjoy the whole. Sh- I wish he wouldn't tweet. Like, there's things about him where I'm just like, this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, and but I, if he makes I, you I have no laugh, problem. then I, I. But it's all a show. It's all comedy, and as long as the country is doing fine, economically, and all that other shit, and we're not getting blown up, I really don't care. Um, is it doing fine? Oh my god. Like, well, economically, yeah, but what about economically? This is the best of all time. Well, here's the thing: if you're looking at foreign relations, right, with, yeah. with China, whatever, mm-hmm. it is a f- awful deal. We're stuck under forever. Somebody's going to have to do something. Now, granted, it's not going to be sweet, um, but I don't. Democrat, Republican, I don't give a shit who. What president is in there? Eventually, someone's going to have to do something. What he's doing with them mm-hmm. currently mm-hmm. is fine with me, um, but. It also does not affect my business, whereas like it does small farmers or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know. But I know that the majority of, of obviously the economy is record unemployment across the board for every race there is, mm-hmm. including whites. I know they always say that in the news of like lowest record for black unemployment and Hispanic and everything else. But it's also whites, too. So it's oh, like whites, too. Huh? Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody says shit about that either. Where it's like, hey, man, I'm happy that every person of all races are working and great, right? Um, but then another, he'll post other shit where it's like videos, like highlight videos. Today, just day before Thanksgiving, he posted a – I'm staring at it right now. It is a picture of Rocky from Rocky – I'm going to guess that this is two or three. Okay. <laughs> with his head on it. Oh, with his head. in the middle of the ring. Um Eesh. And it's no caption, no nothing. Like just, I'm the. I don't know if he thought it was hilarious, um, or that it, it it's it means something that he just keeps getting back up. I I don't know what it means. Oh 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 yeah yeah. yeah. But it's hilarious. Can't, can't keep him down. Yeah, sure, and sure. I don't I don't mind things like this where it's right. just like, eh, fuck. Everybody's talking about it today. Where they were like, what are you doing, dude? You just tweeted a picture of yourself as Rocky. No explanation. Yeah. I, I find it I find it hilarious. Uh, and I truly don't care. Yeah. I, mean, I don't care. I don't really uh, foreign care relation either. wise. I don't know how much of that is beefed up by the media. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. Or you have some fucking asshole celebrity like Mark Ruffalo going, I was in Paris last weekend and they were ashamed that that was a president. And I was just like, hey, man, look at your that fucking president. Goop- look at your goddamn. That was a goopy, goopy tweet for sure. Yeah. Um, where it was just like, eh. Uh, again, we were in another city doing a live show, and they were like, "Do you really care?" And I was like, "Man, if he loses, he loses on this next election. I voted, and that's all you can do. And I really don't give a shit." And and we move on, move on with my life. And I keep telling everybody that, and it's just like, yeah, um, cool. Because now that we're at the end of the year here, mm-hmm. um, things are really, really ramping up for. I mean, we're twenty twenty is thirty days away. Q four, baby. Yeah, we're there. We're there. So this is this is uh, the election year is 28 days away or whatever it is. Right. For we're in 2020. Their primaries, which because it's going to affect us. And this is why I'm talking about this. The RNC is coming here to North Carolina this year. Oh, that's right. So we will be doing a lot of events there covering it and all of that other shit. Um, also, don't mind having Democratic candidates on. Really don't. Mm. And uh, I want to give a shout out. I don't know if he took this from us or whatever, but I do want to give a shout out to Joe Rogan. He had Tulsi Gabbard on yesterday. Okay. And uh, I like, I enjoy Tulsi Gabbard shit. Although she is a Democrat, Hmm. she is fiery, she is feisty, and uh, she is one of the only people who's enjoyable to watch in those debates. Um, She's also a veteran and uh, doesn't give a shit. So she's interesting. Um, She's hardcore. We would do that too. We, We reached out to people last year or the last election. Uh, Gary, we met with Gary Johnson. Um, yeah, but Joe Rogan is a uh, Democrat. Oh, he is. I didn't know that. I, c- I can never tell with him. Libertarian, but uh, basically a Democrat. Yeah. Um, but uh, that that is coming up around the bend. 
Um, mm-hmm. All of this is is uh, is here now. And I, look, I wouldn't mind having any of those people on the show. But um, the other reason too is like, th- I will be in this next year. I will be in this realm. I, oh I, yeah. Running for office and all that other stuff, and like, I'm excited about it. Nervous. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, I had uh, Alex Scarlatos reach out to me mm-hmm. um, yesterday. I had a, long, a very long conversation with him yesterday. Um, for those of you who don't know him, he was um, on uh, the 1517 from Paris movie. He was actually got to play himself in a Clint Eastwood movie. He's one of the guys that that's, that thwarted the terrorist attack in Paris. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a friend of mine. He's been on Drinking Bros numerous times. And then your mom was in love with him from Dancing with the Stars. That's right. Um, so that's where he did really well, I think, on that show. I don't yeah, watch I think it. He's but I think people liked him. Anyways, he is running for Congress in Oregon. And Congress so or Senate. Yeah. Congress. Congress. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I got, again, a long conversation with him. So I got to, I got to kind of hear what it is. And it's in his district, which, you know, if he wins, he will be part of the House of Representatives. And um, pretty rad. Yeah. Um, but I had a very long conversation with him. Same thing where he was just like, you know. I, and he reached out to me because he saw what, what I posted on stuff. And he was like, uh, hey, man, this is exactly what happened to me. And I was just kind of fed up with things. And I want to try to change it and, and everything else. And um, uh, I'm, he, he said the same thing. He's like, I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. I don't know how. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, you don't know how any of this works. But uh, I, I can genuinely say, because I, I don't think I've ever gotten this many messages regarding anything that I've ever done. Besides this, I can genuinely say, like, if you're pissed off about the president or the next election or whatever it is, whatever the fucking thing is going on in your small town, do something about it. If you lose, you lose. Some of my, I, I, two of my friends that ran from high school, one of them lost. And um, I reached out to him. And he ran for? Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say what it was because oh. he wants to run again. Oh, okay, okay. He learned a lot of lessons, he said. Got it. Um, when he was just like, hey, um, I think he wants to run for something a little bigger, perhaps. Um, either way. Okay. He was like, I learned a lot, and I'm glad that I did it. And, you know, I can look back on my life, even if I don't get the next thing that he's running for or whatever. He's like, man, I fucking tried. I tried to make a difference, and I'm not just one of those people who sat on the sidelines and did nothing. And um, so that's cool. It's really, I'm finding, being a part of this whole situation and – talking to the people that I'm talking to, it really is the only way to make a change. Emailing, really calling, writing letters, showing up to meetings, talking at meetings, writing op-ed pieces, standing outside with signs. None <laughs> of that seems to Does not work. work. And um, it doesn't work a lot of the time, sadly. Yeah, and you, you've seen it on a local level, right? Now yeah. here, because you were involved in all of this stuff. Yeah. Um, but apply that to the national level, which is what I have kind of done too. Where you look at the Democrats and the impeachment thing, and the marches, and the protests, and the shit, and it's like, I understand you're pissed because whoever didn't win, but none but of it. it no, what well, here's the thing: none of it is working. No. So the only so you thing have that will to work. Get yes, you, you've got to vote. This is a uh, you've yeah, got to go win. A message to any Democrats and you've got to that run happen to or anyone. Listen. <laughs> yes, but you've got to you've got to get involved. Actually, in a race, but like really run, involved. Yeah, or, or help one of these candidates go out and if mm-hmm. you if you love Bernie or Elizabeth Warren or whoever the fuck it is, like get involved in the actual campaign itself. Uh, a friend of ours did that um, here, mm-hmm. and then she went all over. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, she got involved. She got involved, and that, that's the only way you can look back and say, "Hey, man, I tried, and I actually did it." I, you were right. The phone calls and emails and all this stupid shit. No one is listening. And no what I'm finding on the local level as well, which you kind of know on a national level, but you don't really believe it, is that everyone has their own agenda, and for the most part, everyone's looking out for their themselves. And their interests and the people around them. Yeah. And that's it. So you have to do the same. And, um, you know, this whole thing may divide people. But, you know, that's just the way it's going to be. Not every single, uh, clearly not every single person wants the same thing. No. Um, And that's what's happening. Yeah. 
Uh, but it, it's one of those things where I guess I'm more reflective on all of this now because it's December, man, and it the the year is basically gone because we've got look we've got the holidays coming up with Christmas. You can nuke that week because it's in the middle of the week. Christmas, um, yeah. Christmas. Uh, New Year's is in the middle of the week. You mm. can nuke that week. You know, jobs are off. Our employees are off. Um, we're out of here. We're, we're gone. We're you going up to the mountains. Of us. And then January, boom, dig back in and get after it mm-hmm. for, for the next year. Mm-hmm. But that is very, very close. Where is usually there's a breather, man, right around Thanksgiving where it's just like, all right, it's November 22nd. You got a few days before December. You got a few. No. This year, it ended, and boom, it's December 2nd, you know? You're in it. So I guess that's, a, the, that's part of the reason why I'm a little more re- reflective on this shit today. Whereas, like, man, uh, I, don't, I can't remember a holiday sneaking up this fast before. You know, where you're like, ah. Well, damn. yeah. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Damn, duke. Dude. Um, also, since I, I was just giving a rap report shot out there with the damn duke. Oh, oh. Uh, I read an interesting article on him and uh, the move to Luminary. Okay. Paid platform. You have to pay to listen to podcasts. Mm-hmm. And um, he does he does as much as me, I think. He does as many as I do. Yeah, he does them I, all the time. I feel like. Mm-hmm. And he enjoys it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, we've had him on the show. And uh, whatever you think of him politically, I really don't give a shit. It, him as a person is a pretty good dude. Um, I think he's funny, too. Off air. Um, you know? He's uh, provocative in a different way, but he's funny. But anyways, he had a really good point as far as podcasting goes, because this is what this article essentially was about, of like the wave of podcasting, him getting bought out to go to Luminary and people paying for it and, and all of this other shit. And he was just like, yo, man, I was tired of chasing for sponsors and, and doing all of that, you know, because he acts and he's still on a fucking full time yeah. show. Um, now, this I w- you know I, w- I wish we had w- w- we do have a bunch of advertisers who do this shit for us, but still you got to keep up with it and blah blah blah, right? Uh, but it, it, one of the most interesting parts of this article was uh, 186,000 new shows are being started podcasts a year. Yeah, um, 186,000, and he said, "Look, man, I think a lot of people think this is easy, and everybody's got a fucking podcast now." And he goes, "It is not. It is hard." Some of you definitely should not be doing this, including some of the actors out there. And I was just like, I love that. You didn't give a shit. I, I did, too. Um, this is fucking true. It is. It is. And if maybe you, I shouldn't be doing it either. Well, but. no, I'll, I'll I'll tell you this. So somebody asked me about doing their own show. And uh, actually, fuck, I did a symposium on it. Um, sounds super fancy. Uh, but I did. And I said, if you're one of the questions afterwards was, how do I know if I'm good enough? And I was like, you know what? Set a timer. Just put a timer on your watch, your clock or whatever. This person wanted to do a one-man show by themselves, which is really difficult. Mm. Um, And I said, set a timer and just talk for one hour. Record it. Listen to it back. First of all, see if you can even make it one hour of just talking by yourself. And then if you want to do a show with someone else, set a timer, sit with someone else, and try with no dead air or dead space to have a... (laughs) <laughs> conversation for an hour. That's interesting that people would want to listen wow. to him. Blah, 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 blah. Clearly it doesn't have to be, but uh, bingo. you know, Juge. Put it right in the gooch, <laughs> but he dropped the hammer and I was just like, way to go. Cause it's true. I guess, you know, podcaster have been shit on in the past. I was like, Oh, I'm going to podcast. Um, now it's not where, you know, you can make a great living and all that other stuff. But, You've got to have a unique and different perspective of it. But he's just said, look, man, some of these motherfuckers shouldn't be doing this. No. <laughs> and that's absolutely true. Mm-hmm. That's absolutely true. First time I've ever heard anybody say that. Uh, Him rap. and Lena Dunham are on Luminary, whatever. That's right. They paid her, what, a, mil- a million or two million to do that show? I don't think Luminary is going to succeed. I, I don't. We, we've had these pitches to go behind paywalls before, a lot of them for this and drinking bros and we're like no i'm not i'm not gonna have you pay for a podcast like our sponsors pay us enough i would rather it be free and 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 it be everywhere matter of fact we're actually i know we were originally just going we're putting up the video shows on youtube that has now moved into facebook 
Um, we're going to be doing that in 2020 as well. Like we're going to get it out to more and more places for free so that you can watch and listen and do whatever all the time. So we're actually going way far away from that model, but uh, you will never find us behind a paywall. No. Uh, at all. That's just, that's not a thing. And we're uh, old now whether, school, baby. whether or not we're forced behind a paywall would be a different story. It would have to be Apple forcing. I mean, I, I don't know any other way that that would happen. I think if Spotify and Apple got together, because those are still the two biggest. Like, we get all the stats and all the numbers of who's listening Corolla and to Marin where and why. has have fought this, like, two times before. Forever. But Apple is now doing original podcasts, and uh, Spotify is buying up podcasts, so... Eventually, there will probably be a meeting of the minds and say, hey, guys, why don't we all put it behind a thing together and uh, everybody can go fuck themselves. We'll see. We'll see if that happens, but that would be the only way that we would be forced to. And and even then, fuck, man, I imagine some other app would just rise up. All it is is an RSS feed. So uh, you can rip it and put it up wherever you want, to be honest with you. Uh, Jabless! Jobless. Yes. Oh, we got some sponsors, speaking of that, who do pay for this whole shit wagon to be on the air so we can be free. So we can be free. Free from our chains. That was racist. What? Free from our chains? Somebody, who talks like that? Jesse? Free from our constraints. Oh, okay. Free free for, free for from our cuffs. Uh, yeah. Our fisticuffs. Great. What's that? Free from our... What are you chewing on there? Prisons, nothing. Oh, you got a little something in your mouth. You can't just uh, stick your tongue out like that over and over again. Nobody's not going to say nothing. Sponsors. Sponsors, Javes. Talking about ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Whew. The mattress of the future. The oh. mattress of our life. 36 month, no interest, pay as you go program. That Black Friday deal is still there. You can buckle up, you can get a bed, you can get an adjustable base, you can take a shit, because you got it covered up. What's up, Japes? What? What's up? You seem a little movie around here. I'm good. Are you sure you're good? Don't yawn. Uh, we got ghostbet.com forward slash drinking bros dude. coming in hot today. 36 month, that no interest program. Everybody's doing that. It's about 38 bucks a bed, dude. Uh, if you're military or first responder, you get 15% off of forever, forever, forever. Do it. Black Friday deal. Ghostbed.com forward slash Ringer Bros. Next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. Boom, 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 boom. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. Uh, Strike Force Energy is the premier energy drink in the biz. Four amazing flavors. We got new arms, Jabes, over there. Mm-hmm. New arms for the mics. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, we're still having a hard time figuring these out. Mm. Yellow Tex. I like them. We got the Rogan arms here. We do. Very robotic. Uh, Strike Force Energy has got no carbs or sugars. It's after Thanksgiving now. Trying to cut a little weight before uh, Christmas, before New Year's. Put this in your drink and go bug fuck. Go put, you put the treadmill on 10 and just run uphill. See what happens. You know? Mm. Grape, original, lemon, orange. 10-pack, uh, 40-pack, 750 milliliter. Beetle. Beetle, beetle, beetle. Um, getting wet, getting loose. Go to strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. They ship everywhere in the entire world. And that's an amazing thing. Last but not least, talking about straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you like it? (laughs) 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 Shaving Ukrainian bushes since 1873. You believe that? 1873, they've been shaving Ukrainian bushes with straight razors from straightrazors.com. Go there, get in it, get a razor, get a kit. It's Christmas time now. Pass all the bullshit. 
Get your uncle a kit, get your brother a kit, get your dog a kit. Shave your dog with one of those. And again, if you were a dwarf in Ukraine who's trying to... Ukraine. Ukraine? Is that a... Ukraine. There we go. Uh, who's trying to come over to America blamo, blamo, and blamo. trick a, a United States couple into raising you. <laughs> get it. Shave that bush. Don't let them know. That'll, that'll give you a nice clean shave. Uh, if you're a man in this life, they got, uh, ooh, mustache waxes. This is coming in nice, isn't it? Uh, coming in, this stash is starting to come in a little bit. Is that what it is? Yeah, a little cookie duster right now. It always takes oh, a few days okay. for, for a man like myself, a baby face man like myself. I'm using straight like You razors. got too close to the smoker. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little dirt on that one. Yeah, a little dirt on that stash. Uh, very Ethan. It's, it's very Ethan Hawk reality bites right now. Um, shampoos, conditioners, mustache waxes, the whole fucking shit. That smolder aftershave is the business. Uh, get it. Get on it. Go to straightrazors.com. Promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. Um, want to wanna hop in here, Jabes, with the Irishman. Okay. I'm gonna, we're definitely going to watch this over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, De Niro, Scorsese, Pesci, mm-hmm. Pacino, the whole thing. Three hours and 20 minutes. Now, I know you're probably not in for this at all. No, I'll be in for it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm torn. And here's why I'm saying this before the weekend starts. It is in theaters. Mm-hmm. Every re- review said the movie is incredible and it should be witnessed in theaters. Mm-hmm. However, we have a screening room mm-hmm. with a screen in it and a projector. I kind of just want to watch it in there and uh, not go to a theater. Is that yeah. r- like is that wrong of me? It's the first time I, I, I've, I can say this at this point. That you don't want to go to a theater? Yeah, I don't really want to go. I was just for three and a half hours. I just want to sit in a dark room and not be bothered by people. The last movie we went to, I find myself judging the people that we sit by Mm -hmm. and how bad they're going to fuck up my movie experience where I'm just like, and then I'm praying that nobody else sits around us. What was the last one that we saw? Uh, I forget, but it was really, it was really goddamn good. Whatever. Joker. Yes, Joker. I didn't want to be ruined by anybody else around me. Yep. So we tried to find like a, a couple of seats that were like away from people mm-hmm. enough. It was just like, all right, cool. I feel like for a three hour and 15, 20 minute movie, whatever this is, in particular, dude, if I was sitting by somebody annoying, I would lose my shit. I don't want, I don't want to risk that at all. Mm-hmm. And I just want to sit by myself and, uh, and watch this shit. Yeah. Um, but in the, in the Ghost of Christmas Past, I would typically go see big event movies like this in the theater the way that they should be meant Is to Irishman be seen. Is Irishman a big event movie? Yes. Okay. So everyone so far, and, and it's early because some of the rest of these movies haven't come out. Everybody so far is saying this is the picture of the year in every review. And it is a Scorsese movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, look, Wolf of Wall Street was this long. Uh, I saw that in theaters. And I enjoyed it because it was so crazy that, like, I like to hear the reactions of everybody else where I'm like, man, does everybody think this is as crazy as I do? Mm-hmm. And I enjoyed that. Um, this is a different beast. Like, this is a mob drama where it's like, eh, I don't really need other people's reactions for this one. No, I don't know why you'd have to watch it in the theater. We're going to watch it on Netflix. So. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But uh, typically... I was an, uh, like, I've been an old school traditional guy of like, hey man, if I'm going to go see Best Picture, whatever it is, I want to mm-hmm. see it on the big screen. I want to I wanna feel that experience in a theater or whatever. I'm starting to get away from that now. Mm-hmm. And that's the first time I can actually say this. And especially for a movie that, by all accounts, review wise, everybody's saying but this like, is going to be the movie of the year. Joker, I wanted to see in the theater and I'm glad I did. Um, I think there's some that I still would want to. What was different about that for you? Um, I knew that cinematically it was going to be amazing. Mm. Right? And it was such a talked about event. The Irishman for me is not not as talked about theater wise. You can't <sighs> see Joker on Netflix well, okay, at so the same you, time. So let me ask you this. What if you so could? I think that's fucking stupid. What if you could have? Um, I don't know. It depends. 
Would you have stayed home and watched Joker in your house? That, that's what I'm trying to think of right now. Right. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what the answer to that is. Although I was really excited about Joker, and I'm not as excited about Irishman. So I guess that's the difference. Is well, it's whatever I. Why not? And I'm and, and I'm I'm by the way I'm trying I'm to figure really this. Really sure how I feel about the whole thing, anyways. Like I know it's gonna be good. Uh huh. But the fucking like. Robert De Niro with the young fucking filter on and like, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be like. I'm sure it's going to be awesome, but I right. can definitely check out like Joker, for example. I knew it was going to be amazing. I knew it was going to be amazing. There was no fucking question in my mind. A, Walking Phoenix yeah, yeah, can yeah, do no yeah. wrong. I mean, all the pieces. It's the same way I feel about Scorsese, though. Okay, so you feel that way. So maybe you should see it in the theater. I personally, I'm not super juiced, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to completely fall into these characters and this story the way that I would with Joaquin or any other. So Robert De Niro, I know too much about him. I know too much about his life. I know too much about his personally. political bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I personally cannot uh, escape that in my mind. Um, that makes sense. Wolf of it, it, Wall Street, it, it, by, by I way. went along in the, on that journey because Leo keeps his whole life and whole shit on lock. On lock. Yeah. By, by so the you way, can go on that journey. To your point, do, do, are, you, are you saying that because you just saw that interview with him? Who? De Niro. He went score shirt on the president. Like, no, no, he has been for a while. And he, no, this uh, is like 24 hours ago. Yeah, I know, but he has been uh -huh. for a while. Okay. So he's been very outspoken. He's gone to all of these like um, rallies, and I listen to like This American Life, which has been on the path with all of the uh, candidates this whole time. And he will okay. pop up and be like on the mic on this fucking podcast, and like he's just everywhere, and he's very outspoken, which is fine. Again, it's fine. It's what he thinks and it's what he believes, and he's using his platform, and that's fine. But for me, and then Pesci. Pesci's the only one that I would be interested. <laughs> I would be interested to see. I know he's still got it. I like that I don't know much about him. I can go down that road with him, right? I, so here's the interesting part um, with Pacino. Pesci. Pacino. Here's the interesting part with Pesci. Um, homegirl, Angie, dated him. We asked her on mm -hmm. when she was on Drinking Bros. Because mm -hmm. I, I had heard this rumor that the reason why you haven't seen Pesci is he genuinely did just didn't want to act anymore. He has enough money, and he was just Good like, I him. don't want to do this anymore. Well, Good for the, him. Here's the thing. I heard he was kind of forced into doing his movie. I'm sure he was. <laughs> I'm sure he was. Um, Pacino's in it, right? Yes. So, yes. I mean, I basically, he can do no wrong, but he is, again, he is such a character of himself at this point. It's hard for me to fall into... I, I'll, I'll, here's the other thing. I will be watching it for other reasons, which is nostalgia, which is seeing all these people that I love back together again. Is the movie going to be amazing? I'm sorry, but probably not. But you will still love it because of all the emotions it's going to evoke when you see, you know, Scorsese's style yeah. and all these people together. Uh, is the story going to be amazing is the cinematography i mean you don't i don't know are you gonna love it i don't know i'm not sure i will have to really have a lobotomy as far as like what i know about these people uh I'm and that's what's really hard for me there's only a few and like you know me i'm not i don't get juiced off to see movies in general it has to be someone like i said like joaquin phoenix or leonardo dicaprio or people that daniel day lewis people yeah. that do it and fucking get out of my face afterwards. You know what I mean? I'm going the to do it and then go to their fucking island. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. As they yeah, should. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's and so the it's, next time they it's tough something in comes world, up. Though, they, the, the studio really wants Is to it? Do Joaquin's doing thing. it. Leonardo somehow does it. Is it? Is it hard? It is because they want quiet, you to have some form boring. of social media. And like, I mean, shit, even McConaughey and Jennifer Aniston have Jay Anus. They're doing it for other reasons, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna so I, to your point, right? Um, fuck, was this the? Yeah, this this was the. 
Oh, no, he did that fucking silence movie. That was. What? I, I didn't see it, so I'm not going to say anything about what? it. What? Scorsese wise. Mm hmm. The last movie he had was Wolf of Wall Street, right? Yeah. My buddy did that movie. He produced it. Um, I was not amped about the trailer. However, it was Scorsese, DiCaprio. I was I in. I went and saw it in the. Th I, w I was not. I went and saw it in the theaters. And, and to this day, it's probably my favorite movie. One of my favorite movies of all time. Top five for me, easily. I, I can watch it over and over and over again and laugh and have a great time. And I enjoyed seeing it with an audience. Um, the Silence movie, I didn't see. The mm -mm. religious one. Mm -mm, I didn't uh, see it. I didn't see that one either. Um, but, I mean, going back, it's ready directed Hugo. Hugo. Um, Hugo. Hugo, which our kid loved, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Um, I don't know why we kept doing that. We've done it on one Ooh, of the earlier yeah. episodes. Ooh, go. Shutter Island's a weird one to me. I didn't, I wasn't into that. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't know what the fuck was going on, really. Uh, and I wasn't in. Now, The Departed. I enjoyed the fuck out of. Oh, yes. I Classic. can still watch that movie forever. And uh, I don't know. Even though their accents were ridiculous in that. Mm. Way a little too much out of everybody on the Boston accent, except for Leo. I'll, I'll leave. I'll leave him with it. He, I don't think he attempted a Boston accent. <laughs> I think I don't think he does ever. Does he? Oh no, he does. Gilbert Grape. Show stuff me like blueprints. Yeah, blue no, prints. he does. He does. He does. And that's the next one, The Aviator. Mm. God damn it! Brilliant. I love that movie. Brilliant. Love The Aviator, man. Um, that's DiCaprio. It's like, you know, it's weird. Gangs in New York. Right before that, DDL, DiCaprio again. Yeah. All of these are DiCaprio, it feels like. Um, so am I, here's the question. Am oof. I going to like a Scorsese movie mm -hmm. without DiCaprio? I'm not sure. They are hand in hand. I don't know. I mean, One I'm, is the muse of the other. I'm going through this list. Casino, Cape Fear, mm. Goodfellas, mm. Mm. Last Temptation of Christ, Color of Money was well, that's Color of Money. I could watch eight hundred times in a row. Um, the King of Comedy was great. Raging Bull, obviously, I've seen that a thousand times. Taxi Driver. I mean, oh. he's one of the very best of all time. It is strange to me that I am seeing this in a in my house. I, I will. I'm not, I'm not, I will not go see this in the theater. Um, the, the Joker. I'll answer this question. At the time of what we were doing, I wanted to go out on a date with you. I wanted to enjoy dinner and go see a movie. It just so happened to be at the exact same time that the Joker was coming out, and I'm amped. We saw that in a theater. Me too. But it, I want. I actually wanted to, which I don't usually. But if given the choice. I could have easily watched that in my in my house. Oh, and I know that sounds bad. You could have, but you couldn't have because it wasn't playing at your house. It wasn't. But this is the so, first time where you genuinely have an option for what very well could be the best picture of the year in the Oscars. For real. Maybe. And I think we saw the best picture. I that. wonder what numbers wise this is going to do. Um in theaters versus how many are actually going to watch this on Netflix. I was reading an article today where they're expecting this to be the most downloaded movie in Netflix history. Yeah. I get it. Um, and in Netflix, you'll have mine, my one, my number on there. Right. <laughs> but it feels weird. I don't know. It feels weird. I just didn't uh, ever picture this in my life, you know? Mm -hmm. um, crazy crazy because I, I i grew up in the allure of like hey man i'm going to make movies for people to go to the theaters and watch them on screen or whatever and now that has kind of switched and i i used to bitch about look studios aren't making comedies anymore but if everybody's going to start viewing these however they want to view these now it's like fuck i'm i'm, I'm guilty of it now i'm, I'm gonna watch the irishman in my living room well, you don't have to be guilty of it. It's just over. It is. And the golden age It of feels cinema. like Netflix is driving this in. It's over in your in. dreams, so if you're, a, if you're your dreams as a child and everything that you loved as a child. It's just over. In it that. is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hard to reconcile. Well, 
It's been a couple years now, so I need you to wrap your head around it. Because you know Scorsese came out and bitched this week of like uh, superhero movies. Where, where he was just superhero like, Spielberg is bitching about streaming. You know, it's a, they're all they're grasping and and trying really hard to hold on to it. And I think we all just need to um, accept that our our dreams and our childhood and everything that we believe is crushing over, is yeah. crushing over and done. And um, you know, Merry Christmas, kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> And get the fuck on board because it's not going to change. And the only reason that it's in that I, Irishman is in the theater is so that it can be um, uh, uh, considered for a nomination, right? Mm. So they they don't actually expect a, a lot of people to go see the movie. They just need to have it in theaters for a certain amount of time. Or I wonder, right? This, so yeah, yes. Are yes, they doing a correct. wide, wide, wide release, uh, or no, is it no. sort of limited? Like, yeah, no, it's not limited. There's, they got a lot of screens, just not as many as you would for okay if you weren't on on a streaming device. But uh, the reason why I bring all of this up today, I guarantee you, next week this is going to be a big debate once these numbers actually come out, right? And what they are, and look and. If it's a good number, then you can be like, okay, like people still want to go to the movies. And this is a, a great test yeah. of that. And, and again, I think you're right. After this, you will know. You will know the answer. Do people want to go to the movies or are we all just fucking holding on to a lie and a dead dream? <laughs> and just trying to like revive it and like, no, please, God, no. And the real deal is that it's gone. It's dead. It's been dead. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this will be a good uh, crushing, uh, good crushing realization for everyone. <laughs> uh, can, can I and, uh, and to throw one more. I guess final film canister into the fire on this one because it's done mm -hmm. can, can i also say that i'm excited a movie of this caliber is coming out at this time so i can we can watch with the family and you know yeah, parents and, I, and stuff it's and clearly uh deliberate and i think yeah um if anyone's Great gonna to go it, right? to the movies though wouldn't it be right now they were gonna actually go yes wouldn't it be this exact time frame that they're coming out yeah and i wonder yeah. I, I wonder how that so, knives out movie is gonna do oh that's right because th it there is people so that want to get out of the house silly, and yeah. away from their families yeah. during this period where they're just like, so we'll see it may get me out of here. Yeah. Our friend is in that. So I hope it does well. Yeah. I mean, it looks like <laughs> silly, but kind of fun I, I and everyone's it, good. I thought it was Clue. It looks like Clue. It looks like Clue, but kind of a um, different take on it. Uh, everyone looks good. Uh, it, you know, like I said, it looks a little camp, a little fun. Eh, that's what Thanksgiving movie. Exactly. Right? So... We'll see. Um, Want to ask you about another uh, celebrity chef dying? What this is, seems to be a trend. Um, Gary Rhodes, the uh, British celebrity chef of uh, he hosts Master Chef. What? Uh, yeah, he just died at fifty nine. Um, um. Why are all like? Is it just because you're eating so much food that all these people are fucking dying? Hmm. He was. Celebrity Chef. Uh, he hosted Master Chef, Master Chef USA, Hell's Kitchen, uh, Roads Around Britain. Hosted. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I don't super know him. He said that he died with his wife next to his side, so I obviously knew this was going to happen. But uh -huh. uh, uh, he's he's a very uh, s skinny guy. Yeah. This yeah. is the second one though that's skinny, and I'm like, man, is there something else? Who was else the that other one know? that was skinny? Fieri's friend. He was not skinny, remember? He was thinnish. And you saw the the, the like dinner Ralphie that May. he had. Yeah, well. Before. Goddamn. So that's how he was eating. Not every day. Ah. He would have been 900 pounds. He wasn't that. Mm -hmm. So I, I just find this. It's an odd trend now. And I'm like, man, is it just because of the food? <laughs> like <laughs> That or is there so many celebrity chefs? Celebrity, the, the term and the um, title of celebrity chef is a. Fairly recent thing since Wolfgang Puck, which is not that long ago. And there's so many people that are now celebrity chefs because yeah. you're on one show one time or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's more the trend. Okay. Is that there's so many quote unquote celebrity chefs. Percentage wise, a couple of them have to die, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
one would say. Look, I'm positive today. Well, I'm cheerful. Good. So I'm, I'm ready gonna, for the holiday. I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna, <laughs> keep, I'm gonna keep you cheerful and tell you not to watch the new Party of Five promo. Okay. Just stay Why? Away, stay away from that. Oh no. I, I don't. It's just. Uh, it was a little depressing when I saw that. They today. recast it, right? Completely recast. Ethnically diverse. Got it. So. Still, the parents died. That kind of thing. Are they one family or is it blended? Yeah. Uh, well, it looks like a quinceanera. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, it's strange, man. And they did that with uh, One Day at a Time, too, on Netflix. God damn, it was terrible. Fiesta de Cinco, right? Yeah. Party of Party Five? five. <laughs> sure. Cinco de Fiesta, is that is that it? Is the verb? Oh, they go the backwards. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm not. So just don't peek on over there if you're looking for... Uh, for anything uplifting. <laughs> I'm going to watch the real Party of Five. How about that? And I uh, will oh, there is numbers in here. Shit. Good. Um, this is breaking news. Um, Frozen 2 is out this weekend. Okay. Scorched Earth. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Obvi. Disney, man. God damn it. We're gonna, we need to buy more stock in Disney. They're just dominating the world. Why do we not? Yeah. You know, foof. Cause they're gonna, I, I think they might take over Netflix, too, eventually. Maybe. Uh, I mean, no, I'm not buy them out, but I mean, just surpass them as far mm -hmm. as viewers and shit for kids. Mm -hmm. Uh Best Tuesday in November with 21 million. Domestic is looking like 164 million this weekend. Who is what? False. Domestic. That means the uh, United States of America. Th but that are we still talking about Frozen? Yes. Oh, okay. Frozen is looking at 164 million. Okay. So, that, and that's part two, obviously. So that's obviously gonna uh, gonna knock that out. Knock that out. Um, Knives Out did pretty respectable. They had four million. And okay. in, in their first day okay. of preview, and it only cost forty to make, and they'll cross that. Yeah. What else this could do? All right. Uh, Ford versus uh, Ferrari. How'd which, that one which our do? Producer, Jamie, did you like that again? He said, "Meh." Oh, it's a one-time watch movie. It's a one-time watch movie. Okay, I understand that. That's a meh. It's a it's a meh out of you. Um, it's doing all right. Sixty-two million. It's up to. You're in the holiday season, so whenever they say a movie has legs, that means it'll just keep going. That'll easily cross a hundred million. That's respectable. I don't know what their budget was for that because it looks expensive as shit. Yeah, Smashing they were crashing real cars. cars and Oof. shit. Um, and then the uh, Scorsese movie is not even listed. So did it come out already? God damn it! I wonder if people are just skipping it. Did it come out already, or previews? I don't think it did. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it did. I mean, you wouldn't put it up on streaming before you go to theaters. That's dumb. Let's. I'll find it. Hang on. Is it a fit? I mean, look. I'll, I'll find it right now. Um, okay. Boom. 2019. I'm, yeah. Damn it, it's been Because are you sure that it's it been is released internationally? Streaming. Yeesh. You're sure that it's streaming? Original yeah, release dates. Is. Yeah. Um, 11, oh yeah, November 11th through the 22nd, uh, overseas so far. So this is going to be coming out here. Fuck man. $349,000 international. That is no bueno, but Netflix is in like 150 countries. So like is everybody else watching that. Yes, we'll see. Yikes, man. I don't know. I'm, we'll, we'll find out. I'm curious. Yeah. So I look. There was, there was probably no reason to put this out on a preview, but again, it should be day and date. If it's out today, we'll find out, Jabes. Find out. We will find out because that'll be a game changer. Um, that Because then the final question of this, before we get out of here, is can Netflix win an Oscar for Best Picture? No. They were close last year or two years ago. But it has Remember to be in theaters. Yeah. Well, this, I mean, technically it is. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter at that point. Can Netflix win? Yeah. Win an Oscar. That would be... I mean, if Spielberg has anything to say about it, no. Uh, people will be up in arms. Oh, yeah. People will be... And, and big, big wigs. So until they... they uh, go, I don't know. Go with the times. Uh -huh. Until they get with the program. 
then no, I don't think so. They have a lot of say still. Uh, producer said, uh, Jamie said, ninety-eight million was the budget for Ford versus Ferrari. All right, so if you're well, looking at, they're fine. I mean, they're not like killing it. But. Well, if you look at so if you look at P and A, so P and A for a movie like that, which is in layman's terms, advertising uh, trailers, posters, all that other bullshit from here and around the world, throwing fifty for a movie like that, uh, fifty million. So you'd need 150 to break even. You're at 62 now. This will cross 100. Probably end up with 120 here. And then globally, you'll make a you'll make 200 million off that movie, for sure. Um, and that's a win for a drama. Absolutely. Yeah. That was a hard movie to make, man. There that that project has been around town for a very very long time. And yeah. And it literally took Christian Bale and and Matt Damon to actually make that thing. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, that d- that movie does not get made. That does not get made with a Hemsworth. No, and it has to be a bail. They tried a racing movie with a Hemsworth, actually. Remember? And it fucking tanked. Oh, God. I mean, we saw it. We did on not a, Not cable. in the theater. Oh, yeah, yeah, not in the theaters. No, hell no. <laughs> no, 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 no. It wasn't bad. I just, you know, uh, get on him, though. You are a bail head, though. Oh, huge bail head. Yeah. Uh, but look, Scorsese's sticking to his guns. He said, you know, movies should be seen in theaters, and that's that. He's not going to cowtail to this bullshit, I guess. Um, I'll give him, since we're wrapping up here, the revolutionary figure of the day. Because this might be his last movie. And I am excited about that. Who's um, last movie? Scorsese. When you get to this age. You see? You always wonder. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like the uh, Rolling Stones. Yeah. Are we going to the last? He's 77. Right. Um, I feel the same way about Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood is like fucking 88. Yeah. Dude, is this the last movie? Speaking of him, his movie's coming out too. The Richard Jewell movie is his. It looks fantastic. Yes, yes. I want to see that. It's not available on streaming. So you and I will go. I'll go see that. And have a date for that. Yeah. Um, But yeah, fuck. Fuck, man. Uh, he's, He's... He's, he's got to be, he's getting close. He's getting there. Scorsese. And you know what? Then. It might be interesting to see if Scorsese and Eastwood still have it. That age. Yes. Gosh. They, uh, man, I can't see them fucking it up. I just can't. No, not fucking it up, but. Three hours and 29 minutes, by the way, is The Irishman. That is the length of that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse is Jesus. now out. So Jesse, just we're gonna have to start that. Out. Well, we're gonna have to start that movie around three thirty, four in the afternoon, <laughs> because Put the kids, to you bed. know, mom goes to bed early. Yeah, because <laughs> I party. Yeah. I like to party in the morning. Is when I party, Even and I can have fun when I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, obviously, <laughs> obviously. Is that you love sleep and death is a welcome thing for you because you'll be oh it'll permanently be so sleeping. much fun <laughs> I'll have fun when I'm dead. Um, looking at it from our household perspective, we would have to put our last child down at eight, which is early for him, mm-hmm. and then st- crank that up, and you still wouldn't get out of there until eleven thirty, James. You'll never and that's not gonna work, bro. <laughs> you'll never okay, make and it. that's not gonna work for mom. <laughs> Are you saying this is a movie we're going to have to get a babysitter for? Because you cannot. We'll watch it um, at, at our o'clock. house, but we're going to need a babysitter to uh, <laughs> deal with the kids during dinner time. Because that's when we're going to have to. I mean, again, it's going to be a happy hour movie. You know what I mean? You're going to have to start at five. So, yeah, we'll get a babysitter to come in and do the, you know, do the stuff with the kids. No, we won't go to the theater. I refuse. Sure. I'm just joking. Um. Yeah, I would. Whatever, I'll right. see it in the theater, and no, we'll, no, we'll hit that. We'll hit that two o'clock matinee. What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing worse than seeing a three and a half hour drama at two o'clock at in the two afternoon. Two Talk about fucking up the rest of your day. Yeah. Yeesh. Look, do it. Make it a Sunday. Make it a blue hair special. <laughs> you know. Make it the blue hair. Showing. Um, if, if anything happened before we get back into studio next week. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry I, we're being so jovial. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I, I don't want to. If someone like, died. Why are they joking around when I know. we had another Not at a time like something. this. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Uh, Ooh. Sorry. This is in advance. It's pre-recorded. Yeah. 
We don't know what's going to happen. We could be dead right now. I know. Yeah, I know. Somebody kills Savannah Guthrie at the Macy's Day Parade, and you're just like, oh, jeez. Oh, man, did you hear that story? No. So I, it said she had an eye injury. What? How, I, yeah, so her fucking little brat-ass bitch kid, with the, which they didn't even talk about this, threw a, like a model train, uh-huh. the big engine uh-huh. of the train, right at her face and in her eye. Oh, God. Just threw it at her like this. I get it. Point, pointy side. So hit her eye yeah. and it slowly just she started to lose vision and basically couldn't see out of that eye. So now she's possibly dealing with a huge surgery, but they're trying to avoid it. <sighs> but anyways, it's like there was so much blood. It's like filled with blood. Da da da. I uh, And they showed a picture of this little bitch kid. Well, with the train. <laughs> I'll stand up for the kid real, here real quick. We have uh, we have two boys. Um, our child is extremely sweet. However, no, I'm joking. No, no, no. Uh, however, is why I'm, I'm, I'm throwing a however in here. Stephen A. Smith. However, I'm playing football with him the other night because we have a giant beanbag and he likes to jump off the ottoman into the beanbag and catch his football. Right. For whatever reason, he just gets up five feet away from me and just rifles the ball directly at my eye. Different. It's a ball. It's a ball. You're playing catch. No. It's not your sweet mom sitting on the couch and you just roll up to her with a fucking Gassed train it. engine and <laughs> slam it into her face. I mean, that kid may have issues. So I looked at him and I go, why'd you do that? Don't know. Why'd you do that? He goes, I don't know. I mean, nothing. I mean, no remorse, no nothing. I was like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, don't do it again, man. Like, what are we, right. what are we doing here? And he was just like. <laughs> Start, we started playing again. Like nothing happened. Right. Never gunned it at my face again. Like, <laughs> yeah. No. Know. I mean, kids have these uh, little rage pockets that happen every once in a while. That's what I'm saying. A little rage pocket. So, and then you kind of like Ugh. with Savannah, Savannah. Look, a little rage pocket, and that's it. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean that's a rough one though, dude. A full on, full on train to the dome. Again, you're not playing catch. You're no. not in that fucking zone. It's not your dad. It's not your dad. It's not your father. It's not your father's train set. So if she has a fake eye, that kid's going to live with it forever. (laughs) Could you imagine? (sighs) Yeah. Sabanya? Yeah. Can't imagine. I mean, she's rich enough that that's not going to happen, but. A friend of mine uh, got kicked in a pool by his son right in the nuts. He's got a fucking one of those. A golden ball? Yeah. One of those Nuvo nuts or whatever they put (laughs) in there. (laughs) Balance it out. He, He lost the nut? Yeah. It was bad, man. Lost the nut, man. I, I think there has to be more to that story. There isn't. He just got kicked in the nuts really if hard. You hit that, if you hit a sweet spot right there, boom, that's it. What, what do you mean that's it? They just die it'll and explode. fall off? Yeah, it'll explode. So it exploded or, yeah, in yeah, there? Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, Fucking that nut doesn't exploded. sound right, but yeah. yeah. Dead serious. Okay. I mean, it was that bad where it was just like. In a pool. So underwater, mm-hmm. the kid had the force. To come up, and, ju- and here's the other thing: it could have been because of the water. So typically, your balls are close to your body, right? Because they're packaged in somewhere. Mm-hmm. Now they're just dangling, dude. Probably a warmer pool. Yeah, heated. kick that right in there. Oh, maybe get a toenail in there, a little pinch. Ah, oh, why did you make me say that? I didn't want to say that. Damn it, man. <laughs> Damn it, Bob. I don't Damn even it. understand. Damn it, Bob. Again, there's more to, to your friend's nut story. Did not. He lost there's a more fucking to nut, it. man, and that happens. Just, no, it's, it doesn't. Ah, uh, James. I've never heard of someone getting kicked in biology. the nuts and losing yes, a ball. Yes, happens. Ever, ever, ever. A lot. I had, another, I had another friend from childhood who, uh, man, fell off a swing and fell on a stick the wrong way. Like a, a branch, you know? Like yeah, a, I mean, that sounds right nuts. to me. That sounds right. It doesn't you're, sound, none you're of this sounds poked. right, man. It's getting poked. It's getting, you know, impaled. I don't want to have this conversation. Anymore. But a kick. I think about it. It's in my mind. And a I'm kick it. to the nuts feeling it underwater right so hard that Ugh. you lose a ball. Don't want to discuss this Doesn't anymore. sound right. There had to be something else going oh, on. Oh, there was nothing else going on. Jesse, I don't want to discuss it. He lost a nut. He's nutless. Um, he's a uniballer. I, I can't, I can't get into this He has that silicone ball, though. He's got the weird yeah, silicone ball. He didn't want Look. the uniball it. Look. The balls are not something that anyone's looking at anyways. You never know. People are into that. There's a whole fetish section. 
Yeah, there's a whole fetish section for everything. Scat porn, Jesse. Boom. That's your thing. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Follow la la, okay? Follow la la. <laughs> la la la. Uh, let's get out of here, Jesse. You go cook. I will go eat. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. the Jables. I'm not cooking. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> this is the Ross barefoot, Patterson yeah. Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Meat church. Meat church.